good morning everyone and another day for moto vlogging um so most of you guys are requesting of me doing a small review of my 2023 ducati multi shot of v4 pike speak edition and today's the day and we're gonna do that review here in a couple of minutes so sit back relax and enjoy back to my channel and for you guys that was requesting of me doing a small review of my 2023 multi stride of pikes peak edition so here it is yeah right <laughs> <laughs> so okay so first things first of course you know more you guys most of you guys know what are the difference of a multi-strata v4 pikes peak and the difference of a regular multi-strata v4 so it's obviously the colorway is a livery colorway and it has a number one badge on it so that's very distinctly only for the uh, pikes peak edition and the they made the foot pegs a little bit higher than the um regular v4 um they say it's for the lean angle of the v4 so you have a better lean angle when you hit the twisties or the track um they lowered the uh the handlebars for you know better better riding ergonomics on the track and the twisties so you can have your body positioning more aggressive than the regular v4 so they they put a Marchesini Forge aluminum wheels, 17 inch on the uh, Pikes Peak, uh, just like the Panigale, and it has this, you know, this beautiful single-sided swing arm, like the uh, Panigale V4S. So coming with the V4 Pikes Peak Multistrada, it comes with the uh, Acropovic uh, slip-on exhaust. So this one is just the regular Acropovic exhaust, not the uh, full exhaust ones. But actually, they offer the mid pipes for this uh, for this kind of uh, model. So it's gonna make the exhaust really, really loud. You can't really move any uh, DB killers because it's just an empty ones. So what you have to do if you want to make it like want to make it louder, you can buy a mid pipe for it. All right, so I put a uh, an OEM crash bars. I painted this one with black. It used to be, it used to be silver, but I painted it one with black so it looks better. So I just powder coated with a can, um, the steel eat steel it powder coat can. So what I did, I put some Evo Tech Performance uh, fork frame sliders. I also bought this uh, radiator guards. Or on a Evo Tech Performance. So I installed a CRG bar and arrow mirror, and I just put the regular eBay uh, Multistrada V4 tank pass. I was surprised they got a good quality on it, because I only bought it for like only twenty dollars, and I was expecting like less quality. But 
when I got it, it was, I was surprised it has a, a great quality on it. Um, I'm gonna change this one to an Evo Tech Performance Tail Tidy eventually. Uh, I put the uh, Dynasty Detail Bag, so you know, it's for small luggages and you know some small compartment. Uh, and yeah, pretty much that's it. I've never changed anything in my Multistrada V4 Pike Speed. Oh, by the way, uh, I put uh, just a small decal here in the wheels, just for the looks, because it looks so plain without that, based in my opinion. And you know, sometimes less is more. I don't want to put too much onto it. But we'll have some uh, more modification, small modification soon. And next time I'm going to buy those uh, OEM side panniers, or panniers you call them. And the top box, I'm still debating if I'm going to put the uh, aftermarket ones or the OEM ones. But people are telling me it's better to have the OEM because of this clips right here. That, that I mean, these uh, holes right here that holds it. So it moves around. So there's a purpose for that for handling purposes. The, that's what they've been telling me. And I, I really don't know. But I'm still looking for that SW Motec side panniers and that SW Motec rack pack bag in the back I think it looks nice uh, overall that's it yeah so thank you for watching my channel I do appreciate y'all you know thanks for liking and subscribing on my channel and I do appreciate it I was surprised I got a thousand views in my first video and thank you guys for watching and supporting um, if you guys want to know anything about the v4 pack speak just comment down below and we'll answer those questions and the best of my abilities and we'll find information and if you guys want to do more review about this bike um, yeah just comment down below and you know I'll be creating more videos soon you know riding this bike through um, through uh, different areas and uh, riding spots here in Nevada might go in California Arizona Utah we're about to find out stay tuned and thank you for watching have a good one happy holidays this bike is a <laughs> oh god all oh, the comfort it's so smooth <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> <laughs>